Now to that deadly predator that prowled Australia more than 40,000 years ago. Scientists at Flinders University say that their studies of thousands of scratches on a cave wall in Western Australia have convinced them that a marsupial lion stalked animals from trees and rock ledges. Their research has also excited staff at the Narakout Caves in South Australia, as Tom Fedorovich reports. Many Australians would have heard of the Tasmanian tiger, but the ancient Thylacoleo carnifex, or marsupial lion, was an even stranger creature. Associate Professor Gavin Prideau from Flinders University is captivated by the extinct carnivore. The marsupial lion is a mysterious animal that's been known for a long time. It died out about 40 or so thousand years ago and it's been known for about 150 years. We've only ever had the skeleton as a source of information. You can only eke so much information out of skeletal remains. So what we discovered in the 2000s was an assemblage of scratches on limestone walls in a cave down in southwest Western Australia. And we'd seen these things for years, but we hadn't worked out what they were. And then eventually the penny dropped. And we thought, I wonder if they were scratches made by marsupial lions that were living in the cave. His research, published today in Nature's Scientific Reports, sheds new light on the marsupial lion. From that, with a bunch of steps, we were able to work out that they could climb really, really well, and they looked after their young in dens in cave. It was one of the top land predators, with a robust build and ferocious teeth. Professor Prado says it would have been one of the biggest threats to Indigenous Australians. They would have overlapped with people within the same area as people, same time as people, probably 10,000 years or so. Could you imagine an animal that was able to climb trees, 80 to 100 kilograms, and jump down onto unsuspecting prey and interact with people. I don't think it wouldn't have been, would have been a very um, pleasant relationship. He says the technique examining the claw marks, a type of trace fossils, has big potential for other researchers. Debate about this animal has gone round and round and round and round, and round um, based on the skeleton for 150 years. Now we've got a completely new line of evidence providing insights into its behaviour that you wouldn't have thought you'd be able to get if you hadn't travelled back in time. Amy Mackin from South Australia's World Heritage Narracourt Caves has also been to the marsupial lion's den in WA. Oh, it's an incredibly special place. Like most caves are, they have a real calm about them and it always feels like quite a privilege to be into those spaces where you know that humans have never been. Fossilised creatures, including the marsupial lion, are still being unearthed in the Narracourt Caves. Even the local hospital's new CT scanner has been put to use for research. That We're just always learning more and more about the fossils and that some new technology in the hospital is obviously very significant for our community actually then has these added benefits that perhaps couldn't have been foreseen at the start. Australia has enough deadly creatures out there to get us at the moment. Should, should we be glad that this marsupial line isn't stalking humans today? Look, I must say, personally, I like going out into the bush and camping and not having the threat of a thylacoleo is somewhat, I guess, of a, a relief. But always there's that sense of loss when we look back into our fossil record and see the number of animals that used to used to be roaming as part of our fauna here on the landscape. So, you know, despite it being a predator, there is that sense of loss. That's Amy Mackin from the Narracourt Caves ending that report.